Hi, my name is Linry, and this is the Unpopular Opinions Nail Tag. I recently just watched Polish Yogi do this tag, and then I remembered, oh yeah, I wanted to do this when Nicole Loves did this tag. And I'm just gonna link to everyone who's done this so far, including the original creator of this tag, which I believe is Jody's Polish. So all of that will be in the description down below. But first, if you enjoy nail polish related content or someone just doing tomfoolery on the internet, please consider hitting that subscribe button. It would mean oh so much. And thank you, thank you, thank you so much to the people who have already hit that button. So we're gonna start off with a bit of spice. A popular polish that you don't like. That would have to go to Mooncat's Sabertooth. <laughs> <laughs> okay, calm down, calm down, everything's okay. <laughs> I just feel like this polish was just so overhyped to me. I thought it was going to cure my depression, I thought it was going to pay off my mortgage, and it was just a light off white with a blue shimmer running throughout that had a matte finish. Honestly, I found it kind of boring. <laughs> it's a very elegant polish and I've used it in several nail arts, but... <laughs> just think she's boring. It's a good nail art background, but I'm falling asleep. <laughs> she's elegant and I'm not. Okay, now I get to be attacked. A polish that everybody hates, but I love. And because it was in Hello Taco's bottom sellers, I just have to assume everyone fucking hates it. Full charged! <laughs> so hated that Hello Taco discontinued it. Oh, my heart is broken. I know that this polish is a cult favorite. I have talked to several other nail polish people who were just like, what? Why? How could this happen to us? <laughs> Maybe I just found the green lovers and we're just all meshing together and we're all, we're all in our own little echo chamber of this is a beautiful green polish, but I was so heartbroken when Hall Taco discontinued this. A nail polish finish that I don't like. Matte. I don't get it. What? What's the deal with matte finish? I'm going to top coat my polish, canceling out the matte finish, and then put a matte top coat on top. It just seems a little redundant. It's, I don't, why are you here? She doesn't even go here. I'm not understanding what's happening. Though, <laughs> <laughs> the last time I ranted about this, I had several people in my comments say, I don't use top coats. Now, I don't know what you do behind closed doors, but <laughs> if you're gonna come into my school and teach my children that kind of sinful behavior, <laughs> I'm fucking around, I'm joking, okay? Calm down. I don't, I don't know you, um, we aren't built the same, you are... <laughs> I'm sorry, I'll stop. I do understand if you don't use a top coat, it makes sense, but I use a top coat, so it just doesn't make sense to me. Wah. A brand that I think is overpriced. I feel like everyone thinks this. Ba 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 ba! Cirque colors. Duh. Need I say more? Cirque colors averages like $14 a fucking bottle. I have seen it get a little bit more pricey. I think that Shimmer Graphic Formula is $14.50. And it's mostly the price per milliliter. Cirque colors are only 11 milliliters. I have stamping polishes that are in 10 milliliter bottles. <laughs> and I would consider these minis. Cirque is a milliliter off of being a fucking mini. <laughs> $14 for a mini? Bitch. Obviously, I enjoy Cirque. I only own three Cirques in my collection, but I will never pay full price for a Cirque. They're just too much. A trend that I can't get on board with. Thermals. I don't know why. Thermals seem to be having a very strong year this year, and it's kind of like upsetting to me. I don't like thermals. They die. I believe their effect is beautiful. I like the idea of a thermal. I think it's really cool in concept, but I have so much nail polish that I just can't justify a thermal in my collection because I'll probably only wear it about three times before it dies. And it's just like, ugh, I don't know. I have been told several times that if you store your thermals in a refrigerator, it keeps longer, they stay alive a bit longer, 
but then it's in a little mini refrigerator and I'm gonna forget about it and I just, I don't know, every time I've heard people talk about keeping their thermals in a refrigerator, the next thing they say is, I forget about them! Oh! <laughs> they just seem kind of meh. I do have a mini fridge in my house that I got my fiance for Christmas that I painted over the brand's logo and added a Nuka Cola from Fallout. So <laughs> I do have a little fridge, but they don't seem worth it. A trend that I didn't like at its peak, but I do now. All right. Now, I've had several people tell me I don't look 32 years old. I was born in 1991. I know, I know, bury me now. <laughs> That makes me be in high school around the peak hype of Crackle nail polishes. Now, my small brain at the time did not know how to work a Crackle. I didn't get it, I didn't understand it, I thought I bought a bad batch when I bought my first Crackle. It was like a red polish and it just kept separating. I'm like, what is this? Is this what nail polish is? So I threw it away. Don't throw away your nail polish. Don't throw away your nail polish. I didn't know at the time you're not supposed to throw away nail polish because it is an environmental toxin and stuff like that. You know, we live and we learn. Also, you can bring back nail polish. Nail polish, like you put thinner in it and it, 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 like don't throw away your nail polish. <laughs> you can revive it. So Crackle was just something I didn't get. Until last year when Holotaco released their Crackle Topper. And I was like, wait a minute. Now that I know how to fuck with nail polish, this is so fun! This is so cool! <laughs> I love Crackle nail polish now. It is so fun. I understand people's hatred of it, but you know what? You do you, I do me, and <laughs> I'm gonna keep buying Crackle nail polishes. A color you don't wear often or at all. Red. I hate red. <laughs> I'm a red hater. I think it's because of my undertone and skin tone that a lot of reds don't look true red on me. So I'll purchase a red with an anticipation of it being a true bright or sexy red. And then it's just kind of thrown off and looks a little too like Mima on me. And I'm just like, I don't want, like the Mima vibe is great. It's amazing. I love it. But I don't, I don't want that. <laughs> I want to be sexy. I can be a sexy grandma, but I don't want to be a sexy grandma. I want to be a sexy harlot in her mansion that's just like, mm, yes. So I, <laughs> so finding reds is very difficult for me. Why would I say that? Fuck it, man. A polish you like but think is overhyped. Now, I'm just gonna throw two of them up here. <laughs> that would be Mooncats, House of Hades, and Hollow Taco Spirit Fingers. People talk about these polishes like they're the second coming of Christ. <laughs> these two are their own fucking religion with how much people push them. And I push them too, they're beautiful. But like some people think you can't dupe these out. And let's be honest, House of Hades is just a glowy, shimmer, flaky bomb. And <laughs> Spirit Fingers is a gray polish with a red shimmer in it. I feel like these are beautiful, but they are definitely just overhyped. A popular top coat that I don't like. Okay. <laughs> KB shimmers clearly on top. I am okay with this, but the way it was hyped up to me, um, I thought it was gonna pay my mortgage, you know, get my parents' marriage back together. I thought, you know, <laughs> I thought many things about KB Shimmers clearly on top. I thought it was going to do a lot, but it was just a quick dry top coat. Um, hmm. It wasn't a marriage, <laughs> it wasn't a marriage counselor. It wasn't, a, my parents aren't divorced, by the way. <laughs> my parents have been happily married for 33 years, so. I think KB Shimmers clearly on top is just a little overpriced for what it is because I feel like there's not too much of a difference for me with Sesh <laughs> The only difference I see is the brush. I do think the brush is superior to Seshvit's, but it's it's just a it's just a top coat. I don't know. I'm not super impressed. And this is why I've been pushing off like trying Glisten and Glow's top coat is because this fucking top coat has been fucking overhyped to me so drastically like 
I feel like once I buy it, I'm gonna win the lottery and then nothing, everything's gonna change in my life and colors aren't gonna taste the same anymore and I'm just gonna fall in love again and if that does not happen, then I will be disappointed. <laughs> and to wrap it all up, a polish that does not get enough love. Olympia's Fun House. This is a glowing polish on the nails. I love Olympia's Fun House so much. It was actually one of the first polishes I purchased from Olympia. I love it so fucking much. It just mm, it's perfect. It's it, 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 it's perfect. It's only flaw is that it's a bit of a bitch to remove. But that's what a peel off base coat's for. Mm -hmm. I absolutely love it. It's always a summertime mani for me. I wear this like four times every summer. I just keep going back and back and back and back and back to it. It is so lovely. And I feel like I don't hear enough people talk about Funhouse. But yeah, those were my unpopular opinions. What are yours? Do you completely disagree with me? Come on, let's fight about colors and nail polish in the comments down below. None of this is that serious. <laughs> if you enjoyed this video, please consider hitting that subscribe button, and I hope you enjoyed the video. Bye!